Hello there and welcome to my channel. Hello there and welcome to my channel. My name is Lois, for those of you who don't know me, if it's your first time here, warm warm welcome to you and welcome to my LWL crew. You know who you are, welcome, welcome, welcome. Guys, today I've got a little bit of a, not, not unusual, but a different um, haul today. Today I've got um, a Tesco kind of Sainsbury's kind of haul, but it's not a haul as such. It's just a few bits that I went in and I picked up and I thought I'd share it with you because I've had such a 48 hour nightmare. Um, yes, things, things could be worse, but it's just my little nightmare in my little corner of the world. Um, so before we get into all that and I'll tell you about what has been going on with me, um, let me show you candle of the day. So here I've got my home sweet home and the reason why I lit this, I mean I just literally come in and the reason why I've lit this is because it's, you know when you're just so glad to be home. I'm glad to be home, it's home sweet home, and this is the kind of scent that I thought would cheer me up. So that's my candle of the day. It's a Yankee candle, home sweet home. That's one of my favorites actually, of Yankees. I mean, I showed you guys a Yankee candle the other day, I think it was, I'm not sure which video, which order you would have seen it in, but I showed a Yankee candle recently. And to be honest with you guys, I haven't bought any Yankee candles for, um, just doing the plant test. I haven't bought any Yankee candles for years um, because they're not as, personally, I find they're not as strong as they used to be. Um, and there's so much different variations now of the Yankee candles. Whereas years ago, when I was buying my Yankees, you had one Yankee, one type of Yankee, and they were strong. Not so much these days. This is my personal opinions. The ones that I'm smelling in, in the high street stores are not as strong as they used to be. But anyway, enough about that so um yeah as i said i've been to tesco's and i popped also into sainsbury's because i wasn't doing a full shop i was just picking up a few bits and pieces because i've done a full shop i think it was last week um and i've still got plenty of bits and pieces see me through but because i'm trying to manage the way i eat now and eating different things or eating more fresh and whole foods that's what i'm actually doing as well um I just went to get a few fresh bits and you know sometimes I just needed to wander around basically as well I needed to just wander around the shops and clear my head because guys the, the last 48 hours in this house has been an absolute nightmare um I won't start off the whole thing because I know not everybody not all of you came here to hear my blubbering and going on but I just thought I'd share it with you it's just been yeah I literally well the girls and I woke up to no water woke up about I think the girls woke up about five and I woke up about an hour later and said, Mum, there's no water. And I'm like, what do you mean there's no water? We, we've got water. What was in the water? And we went and tried all the taps and the water wasn't working. Now, because there is lots of, I don't know which part of London some of you may be in, um, and I know it's, you know, all around the UK, there's just road works going on all the time, all the time. But it just seems to me like, especially where I am based it's like roadworks every five minutes they're digging up stuff especially Thames Water I'm not coming for you Thames Water I'm just saying there's a lot of digging going on do you know what I mean anyway um there's nothing going on outside my house or anything like that but there's something going on further down the road don't know if that's that's you know belonging to us or linked into us phone them up and they were like, oh, no, that's nothing to do with us. But we'll phone the, the operational department. Phone the operational department. Oh, the operational department. We'll have to phone our management department. Phone the management department. Oh, um, can I put you on hold? I hope you like jazz music. I have to phone operations. Oh, I'm back on and forth, back on and forth. I mean, they, they were great. Once they once I really started to create, they were absolutely fabulous. I did get help in the end. And I had somebody that gave me the references. But basically, they couldn't find the water. And apparently the team that would have been digging up the road recently only worked nine to five. <sighs> Guys, eventually we got the water back on. There wasn't a water problem. Somebody psh, has gone outside our house, literally a couple of inches away and turned off the stopcock. Now, this is not just some rando person. You have to literally go with a screwdriver 
to pull up the manhole to turn the stock cock on and off. Why? I don't know. But anyway, madness, madness. So we haven't had any water. Oh God. Yeah. So I had to go and clear my head, guys, because when you think about it, no water. Yeah. You go to wash. The, oh, wash, let me wash up a couple of dishes. I have a habit. But the girls do too. When we so say microwaving our breakfast or blending our breakfast or whatever smoothie, we might wash a couple of cups and plates. You know, just wash up as you go along, kind of thing. Oh, use your routine. Turn around, washing plates. There's no water. Okay, let's make some tea. Oh, there's no water. My daughter's like, Mom, put a kettle on. There's no water. Okay then. All right. You know what? I'll put on a wash. Ah, there's no water. Flush the toilets. Ah, there's no. Guys, it goes on and on. Bath? What bath? What shower? What shower? There's no water. <sighs> yeah, guys, it's been, it's been a little bit. But anyway, let's get on with the, let's go with what I went to Tesco with to clear my head. So I went between Tesco and Sainsbury's. But guys, I really enjoyed my walk around Tesco. I haven't been there for ages. I used to shop at Tesco's all the time. Um, and then I don't know, Little, I think Little opened up locally to us many years ago. And then I started to kind of shop there. And um, Aldi. So they became more frequent, you know, more f stores sort of in our area. Um, and then they've closed a couple now. So I'm not now heading back to Tesco and Sainsbury's. Although I always go to Sainsbury's every week. But I don't do a full shop in Sainsbury's. I just do bits, like my favourite bits. But let me stop going on and just get on with what I picked up. So as you guys know, I've been saying to you guys many, many times that I'm being very intentional by trying to eat three portions of fish per week and i picked up some some oh here she is oh hello missus i wonder where you were well you know the bags on her chair okay come here yeah. some people yeah go on go on your chair then go on yeah all right Tix, i'm doing a, a food haul so you need to keep quiet today yeah Guys, I've got the food in here because literally as I came in, I just said, you know what? Let me just do the haul straight away and let me just share it with you guys. And I put down my pretty little bag that I bought from um, Tesco's as well. 80 pence for that bag. Yeah. So, um, yeah. All right, Tiggs. Hello. She hasn't seen me all morning, guys. So it's just kind of like, yeah, I know. Stop, stop whinging. I know I haven't been out, been here all morning, but it's been one of those things, Tiggs. Okay. Stop showing your bum. Good Lord. Anyway, picked up this salmon. Now this one is, I've never seen this before. It's a garlic and herb infused um, salmon fillets. You get two fillets in there. So um, yeah, look at that. So it's all sort of herby and stuff. So I'm looking forward to trying that. Guys, I haven't got any prices because I can't remember the prices. That was roughly, I can give you approximates. That was about four quid for that one. Also I picked up some smoked salmon, which I'm gonna have for my breakfast. So I have this with like scrambled eggs um that kind of thing because i was thinking to myself if we hadn't got any water by the time i come back i would have probably scrambled this up with some eggs because i couldn't make my normal smoothie that I would normally make because i ain't got no water but we move <laughs> smoked salmon that was about three pounds fifty for that one um ready to eat so i do like a bit of salmon so i'm trying to eat it in varieties do you know what i mean not just the same kind of salmon all the time i also bought these as well these are six mini garlic stuffed mushrooms now guys i've never had this before and i'm thinking this must be nice it's mini garlic stuffed mushrooms tender and it's, oh it's got cheese in it cheese and garlic filling guys i don't know if you've ever tried this before but i've never tried this before but um i'm trying to eat more whole foods although this is kind of a whole food but yeah i'm trying to i'm just trying um i'm not a big cheese fan i actually i hardly like cheese at all yeah i'm not really a cheese fan i don't really like cheese if i have a, like a pizza with lots of pepperoni and meat i'll i'll eat the cheese then in that kind of oh my days in that kind of sense tigger settle down i know you haven't seen me all morning but girlfriend please yeah <laughs> it's like having a little child like I, I am allowed to pop out sometimes you know i am allowed to go and stretch my legs I do pay rent around here. <laughs> so guys, yeah, so moving on. Also picked up some strawberries. And these strawberries are to make my smoothie. I do love strawberries. Um, yeah, so I picked up some strawberries. Also got myself some blueberries as well. So blueberries again to make my smoothie. But normally I put blueberries with raspberries because I don't like raspberries much, but I know they're good for you. So I put my raspberries with blueberries 
smoothie and that's really nice but the strawberry one strawberry and banana love it i do love strawberry and banana i don't think sometimes i think what spoils my doesn't spoil it but i would love to have just like strawberries and banana straight with um like coconut milk but i can't because well no you can't but that would just be pure sugar so i always put spinach in it to sort of give it that more healthy vegetable kind of spin to it which is what you're meant to do you're not meant to really just have straight fr fruits because it's just all sugar hello tigs guys this is what you i'm sorry i know you guys love it but you're gonna have to put up with it as well as i'm, I'm the one that's, that's feeling it here i'm the one that's getting all the rubs but um yeah i'm sorry you're gonna have to put, put up with it so also got myself some cherry no there's not cherry tomato these are plum tomatoes so I picked up some plum tomatoes. I do like my plum tomatoes. Especially, guys, I don't know if you guys have ever tried it in your air fryer. But if you do your plum tomatoes or cherry tomatoes in the air fryer, or any tomatoes for that fact, and spray it with some oil, then it's absolutely lovely. So I've got some cherry tomatoes. Also picked up some large spring onions. I do like spring... Guys, <laughs> I do like spring onions in my scrambled eggs. I do. So sometimes I have like the scrambled eggs with the salmon, with the spring onions in it as well. Yeah, I also picked up some avocados and that was uh, three avocados in Tesco and that came in at about two pounds for three avocados. So yeah, do, uh, guys, I do love an avocado. I'm not gonna lie, I do love an avocado. Also, picked up some satsumas. So if you notice, guys, in this haul, there's not really anything in terms of like biscuits or sweets or chocolates because i'm trying to kind of limit those um so i picked up some some satsumas um if i ever get the sweet craving for something uh also picked up some green chilies because i want to make a curry this week so um yeah but i actually want to make an indian curry this week and it calls for green chili so i'm going to be having some of that now, guys, I know I'm not a great cheese fan, but cheese is a good source of protein, they say. Um, and I'm trying to get a bit more cheese in. I don't know how I'm going to manage it. So I've heard everyone talk about halloumi. My daughter, my, my, my youngest daughter, she loves halloumi. My oldest daughter, Alicia, don't really care for it. Neither have I. But I thought I'm going to try it. So I bought some halloumi. Um, the only thing I know to do with halloumi is to kind of dry fry it. I'm not sure what else you do with halloumi. But you know what, guys? I'm going to start small. So I bought some halloumi. Um, that came in at about £2.65 in Sainsbury's. That was Sainsbury's. But I have seen this in Tesco's as well. So, um, yeah, bought some halloumi. Guys, do you like halloumi? Are you cheese lovers? Uh, this, is one of my, this is my first time. I have never tried halloumi in my life. Can you believe it? Me and my mates, we go Nando's all the time. And they always order halloumi. And I, I'm like, yeah, where are you going? I'll take it or leave it. Do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm not a cheese fan unless, like I said, it's full on a pizza. No, Tigger, go back up there. Come, up here. How, how dare you? Guys, she's gone onto my leg and started... What, what am I? Some sort of pincushion? Now, guys, if you've seen one of my recent um, videos where I was making... Um, I think it's one of my favorite, the favorite videos where I showed you um, one of my favorite recipes. This is the cheese that I used in it. And I thought, I'm going to buy another one. Parmesan. And I hope I pronounce it right because I know I pronounce most things wrong. This is, you, but it's called Parmigiano. And this is from Tesco. This is about £2.70 for that little bit of cheese. But it's already grated, finely, finely grated because they have it in the blocks as well. But I thought I'd get the grated one. Um, last time I bought the block one. And I had to grate it myself. And I thought, let me just buy this one. It's already done. So, um, yeah, that's Parmesan cheese. <sighs> Get it right in a minute. I mean, I, I'm not, as I said, I'm not a cheese lover. But trying it with the salmon in the sauce and the cream. <sighs> oh, no, I didn't get any cream. Yeah, guys, you, unless you sort of the recipe, you need um, full cream, like whipped cream. So, not whipped cream, full cream. Yeah, full cream. Didn't get any full cream. Next time. Yeah. Also... I bought another bottle of these. This is your sun-dried tomatoes. And again, that's for that recipe. Because um, I had a small jar last time, so I bought the medium jar this time. Because I do like the recipe. So I can probably get about two to three um, 
maybe say two. I probably can get about two meals of two sets of times making that recipe out of this one. This came in at about 265 as well. And that's your sun-dried tomato. And this one has got capers in it as well. And um, I do like capers, especially with salmon. So yeah, that's nice. As I say, guys, this is not a full shop. This is just some bits that I picked up while I was there. Now, this... Hey, I was really chuffed. Because, guys, I have really... Since Christmas, I don't know if you heard, remember my story at Christmas when I said I couldn't get hold of um, a full turkey. And because we had the crown, we finally got hold of a crown in Asda, I have fancied turkey ever since. But after Christmas, I couldn't get turkey anywhere. I don't know. It's almost, it was almost like Christmas Day was over and every turkey disappeared in town. I don't know. But anyway, I found some turkey in Tesco. And this is um, British turkey thigh joint and it's actually bone in and seasoned with cracked black pepper for flavour. Look at that. And now I'm just going to add some things to it because I like to season my things up really, really heavily. So um, I'm going to add some more bits to that, some butter and some bacon and um, all-purpose seasoning and garlic and just the stuff like that. And then we're going to make it up. Yes. And that's your turkey thigh joint. So, yeah, that's a big thigh, isn't it, guys? That came in at about £4.50 for that. So um, I'm really chuffed to try that because I was also after turkey wings, but I've seen them do... I haven't seen turkey wings in Tesco. I've got a few guys who've ever seen it, but I've seen turkey um, turkey leg, but no... I don't, I don't know. Go, guys, I don't know. I don't know if you guys can hear it, the music outside. up it's a car it's somebody just driving past anyway so yeah also picked up these guys now i've never had these before i don't know if i'm going to pronounce this one right either idami Id idami be uh idami idami edami idami idami guys those beans those little green beans are like that now i saw this in the recipe now i can't find a damn recipe that i saw it in i don't know but they're meant to be good for you. You can add them to salads anyway. So if I can't find that recipe that I originally found, I'm going to add it to a salad. Now, the Edamame, I got it on a deal. There's, they've done three um, fresh vegetables for £2. So I did pick up some carrots with that, but I don't know where the carrots are at the moment, but somewhere there. Also, got myself some grapes. Lovely grapes. So that's going to be my part of my treat when I make up my little fruit bowl. So some grapes as well. What else did I get? Oh, I picked up some olive oil, but this is the extra virgin spray olive oil. Now I do like, I do normally use the bottle, but I also like the spray for when I am sort of like using it in the air fryer and stuff like that. Or if I'm roasting vegetables in the oven, um, I do like that. Yep. I mean, I have got a spray bottle, but that's got um, a light olive oil in it so this is the normal extra virgin so there's two different types of olive oil i use depending on what i feel like so my other spray bottle that i got that's got that that's why i bought it for that one also picked up some foil kitchen foil in there as well that was oh so the the extra virgin olive oil is about 265 this was about a pound something two pounds maybe for this um 10 meter kitchen foil um also what i picked up as well is um the non-stick non-stick baking paper sheets now these ones are the ones that they're already they're already sheets they're not on the roll so i thought i'd get a couple of those put on my air fryer even though i do have air fryer sheets but sometimes i'll need something a bit bigger than the actual um size that i've got and i like to put the sheets in there as well that came in at about pound 50 as well and also picked up some weedabix because guys my my favourite cereal at the moment is um, Special K, but I'm trying to get away from Special K because I've caught, always been brought up with like Special K cereal, healthy, you need your healthy with your, with your K and you want to look like a K and all that kind of thing. Oh, that's what I saw growing up on TV. So we always believed that Special K was healthy, but it is if you have the most minute amount like that. Who eats a small amount of Special K? No, 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 stay there, missus. Stay there. Who's going to eat that amount of Special K? A bowl is apparently too much. But anyway, so I'm trying to add some variety in. I do like cornflakes and like, like, you know, things like that. But I'm trying to eat whole wheat kind of things. And I thought I'd try some wheat bits. I used to love wheat bits before years ago. And I haven't had it for years. So, yeah, got myself some wheat bits. 
So that was my really quick trip to Tesco's and Sainsbury's. Um, just to pick up a few things. And guys, you wouldn't believe the price it came to. That's why I don't go there all the time. But that's why I go there for my bits and pieces. And my main shop, I will do all over, all over. But I actually really enjoyed my walk around Tesco's. You know, when you haven't been somewhere for a long time, um, like I said, I go to Sainsbury's every week, my local one. So I'm used to it. But the Tesco's, they're not that local to me. They're, they're a good drive away. So I was really chuffed to go and just walk around, clear my head and look at things I hadn't seen for a long time. Oh, I forgot to show you one last thing. I forgot to show you. Oh, yes. I've got some chicken mix. Now, guys, you've seen me make pumpkin soup before. And this is what I put in my pumpkin soup. This is your... Um, Jamaican Grace chicken flavour soup and you make your soups as you've seen me make before if you haven't seen me I'll link it below somewhere um and this is what you add to thicken it and give it that kind of especially when you're making chicken chicken soup or vegetable soup I always add that to it that's about a pound for that about 70p to a pound for that but um yeah that's what I add to my soups so um yep guys that's my haul I hope you enjoyed it just to show you a little bit she's so determined to go down there I don't know why she's on my lap, guys. I, I don't know. What What is it? Is the chair not good enough for you? <sighs> guys, I'm going to go. I have. I feel frazzled. I thought that walk around Tesco would have done me some good. And now Tigga is walking all over me like some sort of uh, pincushion, digging her hands and nails into me. Well, not her hands, her paws. <sighs> Settle down, have you? See, she settles down when I'm, when I'm time for me to go now. Look, 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 look. What, what kind of backward behaviour is that? But anyway, guys, I'm going to love you and leave you. And I'm going to get myself a lovely cup of green tea. Don't really enjoy green tea, but it's nice if you drop a bit of cinnamon stick into it. I need that to calm my nerves and just to bring it down. Lit my candle, get my hot drink now, and then I'm going to... Because my water's back now. Guys, see you on the next video. Don't forget to click and subscribe. And I'll see you all real soon. Take care. Bye. Yes, bye, Tiggs. <laughs> yeah, guys, I'll see you soon.